Quorum Shortcut News Service. Hyperbaric Medical Specialist. Today's video is comparison between diving and medical hyperbaric chambers. The classification of hyperbaric chambers is done into diving, medical, and special hyperbaric chambers. And today we are going to compare the category A and B, the diving and the medical hyperbaric chamber. The diving chambers consist of decompression chambers, saturation chambers, and TRCS, which is transportable recompression chamber system. Diving chambers are used by deep sea divers because they dive at great depth and with each and every 10 meters depth, one atmosphere pressure at the sea level increases to two atmosphere at 20 meters, it will become three atmosphere and so on and on. This is the diving hyperbaric chamber. As you can see, it resembles a submarine. It has portholes and it has doors which are shaped like a dry submarine on a land. And in fact, the construction of the hyperbaric chamber is just like a submarine. So submarine is not a comfortable accommodation. As you can see, the person or the diver sits on a bench like structure which can become like a bed uh, folded inside and one has to crawl inside the hyperbaric chamber to go inside and take the treatment and then the people outside control this dry submarine and simulate the depth at which the diver has gone below so this hyperbaric chamber which is used for the diving purpose is a very high pressure system and because of the high pressure system it uses multiple compressors and the controls are done specifically according to a diving table and this diving table allows to simulate the dive because if a person comes very quickly from the depth, the nitrogen present in the air, which is about 78%, becomes unsoluble and they turn into bubbles. And because of these bubbles, bends and chokes form. And in order to remove these bends and chokes, uh, which is known as decompression sickness, the diving chamber is used. Sometimes, instead of air, helium is used for the compression because helium is an inert gas. And because of this, the dive depth of a very great depth can be simulated. And these diving specialized chambers are used mostly where um, sea cables are, are light in the bottom of the sea. The second category, medical hyperbaric chambers are divided into monoplace and multiplace and then are portable, home, flexible hyperbaric chambers. The mono chambers are actually of two kinds itself uh, like full acrylic like the one you are seeing and there is a semi acrylic one when half of it is glass and other half of it is metal then there is the multiplace uh, medical hyperbaric chambers which are omega type omega has a flat bottom so you don't need a uh, uh, civil work to put it you can just put it uh, anywhere on the floor. The interior has nice seats uh, for the treatment of the patients. And as you can see, this medical chamber is pretty comfortable with, um, with very nice uh, seats. And the patients sit on them and then they 
breathe oxygen through the bips built in breathing system as you can see and when they're taking treatment they watch a special television inside the hyperbaric chamber which is insulated from uh, electrical and other stuff so it won't cause any fire hazard so the medical hyperbaric chamber is pretty comfortable sometimes instead of chair there are stretchers for uh, disabled and lying patients and uh, some chambers have dual system like chairs and stretchers at the same time and some of these medical chambers are two uh, main compartments so you can have two different pressures at the same time and there is one in the middle the secondary chamber uh, which is used for coming and going out of the uh, main chambers and the latest ones are actually uh, just like a room they are rectangular and their walls are straight they're not like the cylindrical or omega type as you can see the walls inside are straight and they are comfortable chairs inside you can watch uh, tv and get entertained while taking the treatment as you can see the two specialized uh, monitors or TV screens inside uh, with which the uh, controller or the manager can show you uh, movies or cartoons for children. The doors are also not uh, very uncomfortable but they are very comfortable like the sliding doors as you can see um, inside these uh, quadro uh, multiplace chambers and the seats are so comfortable as you can see along with monitors and entertainment system and specialized medical equipment for serious patients uh, like defibrillator or sometimes suction machine is also there people uh, can take medical treatment by wearing uh, helmets and you can see that the oxygen is fed, uh, fed through the helmet and the whole body is compressed with air which has only 21 percent oxygen so this is a very safe and very comfortable uh, treatment system and in this system uh, because of the flat walls and the sliding doors uh, the very serious and disabled patients can come inside by the whole trolley uh, coming inside the hyperbaric chamber Although some of the quadro chambers would also have hinge doors as you can see here. The hinge doors are actually better because the sliding doors um, are good for the stretchers and the uh, carts to come in. But sometimes the hinge doors are preferred because they are uh, more easier to use as you can see in this quadro chamber. In the medical variety, there is a portable, flexible medical hyperbaric chambers. These chambers are used at home and they are used for health and vitality, um, not for diseases, but you know, they can also treat diseases if their pressures are around 1.5 ATA, absolute. But most of these chambers are uh, actually fixed at 1.3 ATA. So at this pressure, they are used for health, vitality, anti-aging and other applications. But there are actually chambers of 1.5 ATA and even 3 ATA chambers are also present made from nanomaterials. And because of the nanomaterials, they can do the same treatment as a solid uh, hyperbaric chamber can do they are lightweight and they are actually multi-place medical hyperbaric chambers as well this chamber can accommodate four people and it's lightweight easily transportable and there is a specialized one with a, a wheelchair access one as you can see the wheelchair is inside and this uh, beautiful design allows the wheelchair to go inside and the person can sit and take treatment 
So the medical hyperbaric chambers have a range from 0 to 3 atmosphere and that is the pressure in which major treatment of uh, around 300 plus diseases can be done. And this is uh, what differentiates it from the diving hyperbaric chamber because the diving hyperbaric chamber is, is different. But in medical hyperbaric chambers, the pressures are from 0 to 3 or sometimes uh, the, the full range is actually 0 to 4 atmosphere. So most of the treatments are done from 0 to 4 atmosphere and majority of the treatments are under 3 atmosphere in this chamber. In the diving hyperbaric chamber, uh, as the humans on the planet Earth are surrounded by ambient pressure at sea level which is equal to 1 atmosphere, a human when diving to depth of 10 meters experience a 1 atmosphere or 14.7 pounds per square inch pressure which is equal to 101 kilopascal. This is called absolute pressure of 288 because we add the 1 atmosphere of the atmosphere uh, which occurs at the sea level which is because of the weight of the air surrounding the planet earth so a person at 10 meters or 33 feet would have 288 pressure and at 66 feet it will be 388 that is 20 meters so diving hyperbaric chambers simulate these pressures depending on the depth of dive of the human being or the diver so the working pressure is from 0 to 10 ATA mostly. Let's compare with the diving and medical hyperbaric chambers. As you can see, it's 0 to 10 for diving hyperbaric chamber and 0 to 4 for the medical hyperbaric chamber. The diving chamber uses air as well as helium while the medical hyperbaric chamber uses only air for compression and sometimes it uses oxygen for compression. But when it is using air for compression, the oxygen is fed via mask. Diving chamber can be uh, safe, but a bit painful. And But the medical chamber is non-painful. There is no oxygen toxicity in the medical hyperbaric chamber, but there is one in diving chamber. And the pressurization is done via handle. In the diving one but in the medical one it is con controlled by a computer so in conclusion medical hyperbaric chambers are safer more comfortable and use lower pressure there is no chance of oxygen toxicity and it is very safe and comfortable like one traveling in airplane uh, experiences the same and you can enjoy the multimedia with almost zero risk of any side effect. Serious bedridden patients can also get treated in the medical chambers while it is not possible in the diving hyperbaric chamber. So most of the people confuse these two. And now you would understand that the medical hyperbaric chamber is a very safe and comfortable device. And the people who confuse it with the diving chamber would not do it after seeing this video so i hope you enjoyed this information and this is a proud presentation of ksy biz hyperbarics so i am available for any medical consultation regarding hyperbaric uh, with the social media contact addresses over there as you can see on this screen and i am also uh, able to install hyperbaric chambers in hospital clinics or at your home if you require a proper work can be supplied to you because there are so many varieties out there and so many different kinds and when can one can get a wrong hyperbaric chamber so it's better to get advice of a hyperbaric medical consultant who is a specialist qualified doctor of medicine so I hope you would uh, subscribe to my channel for such informative videos and to meet me again and I hope to see you soon. Take care and goodbye and thanks for listening.